Love, love, love. Love. Let's talk about the practices of love and how do we practice? So many of us, I think, practice love in, you know, one way or another, or we have a one specific way in which we feel mostly love, the way we receive love and then the way we give love. I love to send out cards to a lot of people. <laughs> and I love to create a lot of events for a lot of people. I love to surprise people and I love to touch and kiss and hold specific people. <laughs> and so we have different ways that we practice in community, with our family, uh, with the, our environment. So I, I really started to wonder, like, how do we all practice love? And if love is a pr function of communication, how do we practice that? And what is communication? So um, in wisdom, as you might recall, there are four conversations of languages and one of them being immediate they don't have to be in a specific order right so immediate structural representational and generative and these you know ideas or ways in which we communicate and so we created these exercises and these surveys the first question was you know, which of the structural object to object conversations do we practice? And overwhelmingly, we had, you know, one on one time, there was over 87% of you who said one on one time is a structural way of practicing love. Um, a not so popular way was exercising, yoga, running or dancing. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> For the immediate, the emotive conversations you practice, over 90% of you said that you create a safe space for listening to someone so that they can be with their emotions. And that really moves me. I'm like, I'm about to cry. Um, so thank you for creating the safe space to share your ideas too. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome that as a wisdom graduate and a, in a wisdom community, we can be present to the difference we make for creating safe space. And the least popular, but again, not wrong, <laughs> is seeking out, seeking out others to support your healing when you are emotionally overwhelmed. And I am right in that boat. I think for myself in the last few years, I've noticed what it takes to pick up the phone and request someone to listen or to have, you know, just me cry on the other end. And a lot of times I actually haven't. I've just said to someone, I'm not feeling well and they've, they reach out and they call because I'm not willing to make that request. And so that love is present and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just to continue looking. How do we practice? Representational. We do this all the time. Talk about something. <laughs> and I've experienced this as well, which is uh, 82, almost 83% of you said guiding someone through a task. And again, I didn't ask for support. I was just happened to be on a call when a friend guided me through fixing something in the kitchen that I would have never asked for support on that, but they guided me through and that was awesome. And so many of you guide others, maybe given directions to Landmark, <laughs> maybe uh, giving directions on how to create something on Facebook or, you know, so we guide each other and that is a representational act of love. Thank you. And planning a scavenger hunt. <laughs> I've participated in one, but that was the least popular by far with, I think it was like 10%. And so bravo for you people that have planned scavenger hunts. That is awesome. Um, generative conversations. 93% <sighs> said 
complimenting and acknowledging someone. And so as a generative conversation, we can acknowledge anything from anyone, whether it's a loved one or a stranger. And as a practice, that's really awesome. And then we also practice 62.9% uh, organizing something for someone. So and that can look like a lot of different ways. How do we organize, right? So that's very open to inquiry too. Uh, given your answers to these questions, are you present to love expressed through your communication? 83.6 of you said yes, you're present to love as expressed through your communication. And are you present to how you make a difference through communication? 87.7% of you said you are present to how you make a difference through communication. I really just was in awe of how it, something so simple could really come across as love and that we haven't, we don't really think about as love. And so it was really awesome to get the feedback that going through the survey as if you'd come through to my poster that you would be present to, wow, we really practice a whole lot of bleep, bleep, bleep love <laughs> that we think we do. And that was the intention of the poster.